Welcome to the AG News Show. I'm your host, Roberto Alvarez Galloso, serving you the best here in this great Halloween season. And right now, in this Halloween special, we have a special guest, one of the greatest rockers in the world. Her name, Sabrina Fala. Just to, 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 just to let, let you know, everything is, is doing great. Everything excellent. We can't complain. And we're going to now invite Sabrina and invite her here to come and take a visit. Let's see what happens here. Let me see. One minute. Okay. Let's get ready. Sabrina, hey. for me, it's a great pleasure and an honor having you here again. Thank you for having me again. I'm, I'm, always, on, on, I'm, I'm always on with you. <laughs> Same here, Sabrina. You're one of my favorite rockers. And as usual, I'm dressed in black. <laughs> I'm always black. <laughs> Same here. But right now, we're doing our Halloween, fall, winter yeah. special, the whole bit. And who knows, we might give you, who knows, we might have a surprise. Yeah, there's someone who wants to see, there's someone who wants to see you. He says he knew you a long time ago. So I'm going to be leaving you guessing. So what are you, what do you, what do you, what have you been doing in, what are you doing Halloween in Canada? What have you been doing today? Well... I, I didn't do much today because I spent all of October watching all the movies. So today was more just relaxing and resting. My parents surprised me with, a, with, with some Halloween candy, which I had no idea they had for me. So I got surprised with some treats. And um, yeah, just, I, I didn't give out candies this year. But, um, but I'm sure they're running outside. The kids are having fun, mm -hmm. as usual. But uh, I loved trick-or-treating when I was trick-or-treating, and it was fun. But I never got my whole bag full of candy. I don't know how people got two pillowcases full of candy, because that never happened with me. <laughs> but, I, but I do love going out during October and looking at the houses at night and see the decorations in the neighborhood and stuff. So I've been taking pictures and posting it online. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I, I just love the, the Halloween costumes and everything. It's amazing what people come up with to, to dress up as, and then you have to guess what they're doing. But uh, I haven't been dressing up the last few years because it's like, I'm not going out, so Mm -hmm. I don't know what to do, but if I was going out, but but if I was invited somewhere, I would dress up and go there. Mm -hmm. But yeah, no, not not this year. Yeah, we have. I have the, mine's is like a mixed tradition. Right now here in Miami, we haven't had that much activity. There's not there's not been much trick or treating, but there are many times when there used to be a lot of parties. People used to dress up a lot. Not only as vampires and not only as vampires and witches, but many people used to dress up. As Cleopatra, Julius Caesar, many others even dressed up as farmers because there's also two types of there's also the Halloween festival, but there's also a festival called the Autumn Festival. It's a it's okay. It's a Spanish tradition in which we celebrate the the, the day of the how the, we would get all the vegetables, all the fruits, and get them all together and get them everything prepared for November and for December, sort of like a Thanksgiving and Christmas special. Yeah, we already had our Thanksgiving. Yeah, we just simply mix everything. <laughs> we we mix everything in one. The Thanksgiving, the um, which we're going to be having soon, uh, some of the yeah. Christmas celebrations. It's like an autumn celebration, mm -hmm. complete with the pumpkins, the apple cider, the grape juice, turkey, I love pumpkin pie, turkey mm -hmm. stuffing, the whole bit. Oh yeah, love it, love it. The best thing. Eh? And very beautiful. When I was in Ohio, I was born in Ohio to Cuban parents. And mm -hmm. Halloween in Ohio was very special in the in the nineteen seventies. They had Halloween, the anti Halloween, and they also had the um, they had the Autumn Festival. And the Autumn Festival again was like the, the Hispanic tradition, but this is like a tradition inside Ohio. They had the festivals for the for the Polish, the German communities had their festivals of 
Oktoberfest, the beer, the whole bit, and all the polka, the rock, everything. Even the rock stars were there dancing, just like they do here in Florida also as well. There was one individual in Ohio called the Ghoul. The Ghoul was like a Wolfman Jack. Wolfman Jack the, was the radio announcer for, for rock and roll and who was also previous, who was also prevalent in Halloween. But the Ghoul was an invention of a comedian called Goulardi. Goulardi was in a local television station in Parma, Ohio. Parma, Ohio is a suburb of Cleveland. And in this television station, he would have, the, it was, if, if the Halloween or the feast or autumn feast appeared over the weekend, appeared over the weekend, like if it was over the weekday, he would do it, he would do it the last weekend of October. And this school was very, very, very funny. He, he, his, he, did, he had rock and roll humor, had rock stars singing in his, in his show. The show lasted from 6 to 12, and it was unrehearsed. Oh, wow. Unrehearsed. You had the local rock groups singing whatever, not only cover songs, but also doing their own hits. Mm -hmm. And most of them even made up, most of them even ended up in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame in Cleveland. And it was really great. Okay. Everybody was enjoying, enjoying not just the, the candy, the, uh, the caramel apples and the pumpkins and the apple cider and everything. Everybody was enjoying the dunk tank and everything. We had yeah. a dunk tank, we had the dunk tank of throwing the vampire into Frankenstein and the, and the vampires in the tank of water. Mm -hmm. In Ohio, we also had the same thing here, but that's in some of the festivals. And it was right. really, really, it was really, everybody just simply enjoyed. They even had one area where you had the chocolate, vanilla, strawberry milkshakes, all for the nice little price. In Ohio, in the 70s, for the nice little price of $1. Here, I would like one. It was like it for $5. And again, everybody dressed up as, everybody dressed up and, and enjoyed life. Yeah. Nobody, everybody forgot the tragedy of the day. Even some of the pets are dressed up, are dressed up as Caesar and everything. In Venezuela and the Dominican Republic, they also had their own version. They had what they called roast pork, lechon, with the rice, the beans, and the papaya milkshakes. And everybody, even the stars, having their own festivals from six to twelve, seven to twelve. Dressed up as either historical figures, dressed up as uh, kings, queens, and mm -hmm. and all of that, and and, and just simply dancing the night away, and inventing any songs that they could get their hands on. It was it was like a very surreal, very beautiful time. Yeah. In all of the areas that I talked about, but what really got my attention was the ghoul. The ghoul was really uh, he was a really fantastic comedian doing all of this. And he was he wasn't an actual ghoul. His, as I said, he was he would use he would dress up like a rocker between a rocker and the ghoul, and he would like say, hey, 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 ho, ho. And he would bring in a lot of uh, all the other people. You, you uh, he, he was he, he was a brain. He even had films, he had contests, everybody got prizes, everybody was was filmed. I even I was even filmed briefly too. I don't know if I don't know if I have any of any videos of myself as a 10-year-old, but they it was very beautiful, and right, and right in the station of Parma. Everybody wanted to be in the show. And it was just, he only had two shows. One was on, on the Halloween Autumn Feast, which was together, and the New Year's Eve one. And as again, really, this is where most of the rock stars got their big start and their big opportunities. Mm -hmm. And again, the everything was prosperous and everything right. here we just had everything slow slow motion slow key we're just simply recording our own programs enjoying life and just taking it easy enjoying it enjoying every little bit that's all i could say just i, I think the same thing happens that happened in canada and everything so one minute, a woman. Oh, oh, I think I, I think I heard a knock on the door. <laughs> uh oh, I wonder who that is. Yes, let's see what happens. Do I go getting a lot of knocks on the door? <laughs> yeah. One minute. What's, what, what, hello. Uh, I want to see Sabrina. 
I want to see Sabrina. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. I want to see her. I haven't seen her in a long time. I haven't seen her in a long time. I need all of my... I haven't seen her in a long time. I need to... I need to... I just wanted to see her. I love all of her music. I love all of her music. Is it who I think it is? I don't know. Let's see. One minute. Ho, ho. Ho, ho, ho. Is this Santa Lady? Yeah, Santa Lady's here. <laughs> the new and improved Santa Lady. Ah! Oh my god! I'm here, I'm there, and everywhere. I just, uh, this oh is, I'm god. stopping over, I'm stopping over <laughs> all the way to Ontario. Have you been a nice girl today? I sure hope so. Yeah, we're gonna see if we can get your chocolate milkshake. I'm just simply wild with the coffee and the pina colada and everything else. We too also had a set, we also, we also too celebrated Halloween at the North Pole. When my, when my brother Santa was not taking care of the deers and everything, he let me do the frolics. I was not only prepared the pina colada, but I prepared the peppermint twist eggnogs. I mixed the eggnogs with the peppermint and everybody went, wow! Yeah. And enjoying every minute of it. It's, awesome. uh, and then we did the mocha coffee chocolate milkshake with whatever remained of Gavalia. And wow! And of course, since I'm vegetarian, we have the vegetables and everything. We enjoyed life and everything. And we, 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 had, we were competing with the ghoul. We even had ice surfing. Wee! 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 <laughs> wee! And everything else. Oh, yes. Nice. And just simply enjoying. I'm just right now doing some, doing some uh, shopping and doing some invent, uh, inventory for Santa when he goes from the North Pole to the rest of the world. And Miami has been a great stop for me after coming out of nice. Argentina and South Africa. Nice. Yeah. Now, on to Canada, and then on to the North Pole, where not only where I have to read Santa's letters and help him, and help him, and then of course, prepare his yeah his scrambled eggs, his hash brown, and also prepare everything else. Yes, I don't have Doctor Rob doing the, doing the chauffeur. We have another. We have we have an automatic um, we have an automatic chauffeur doing the uh, doing the Honda because Doctor Rob went to better pastures. He's now host of the Americana Bistro Grill. And they are doing a lot of and doing a lot of success there too. He's right now celebrating Halloween with all the people in the Americana Bistro Grill up in up in Kentucky and in Tennessee. Then he's going to come back to the Keys. Really, really great person. How 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 really really great. I'm, I'm glad for him. I'm very glad for him. So, just wanted to say hi and just simply to say they're, they're one of my favorite rockers. And nice. just nice keep going, again. just keep, just keep doing the, the songs and just keep doing not only the songs, but also keep doing the movies. You're really doing a lot better than all the other rockers. You're the greatest rocker of the 21st century and never forget that. Thanks. Well, I have to go now. How, 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 Bye. how, 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 how. Thank you, Roberto. Thank you, Roberto, for letting me be with Sabrina for about a few minutes and enjoy life. Oh, 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 oh. How? Oh, okay, okay, Santalini, okay. Do you, do you have enough? Do you have, do you have enough um, for your car? Okay, we got you enough for your car. Okay, you just take it easy. Oh yes, oh yes, oh yes, oh yes. He's really, he's a really Santalini's a real trip. <laughs> but I love him. I love him. He, that was awesome. <laughs> yeah, very awesome. If I could get Dr. Rob, maybe I maybe I could get him Dr. Dr. Rob, but I'm not sure. But um, we're just we're just enjoying life here. Yeah, Santolino was great. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he always said he always talks a lot about you. When he heard that I was going to interview you. He just said you. I have to that he, I have to see I have to see Sabrina. I have to see Sabrina. <laughs> and he really realized his dream. And of course, we just remembered something else. There was also the Halloween in Puerto Rico, which is also known as the Autumn Festival as well. It's just sort of like a Hispanic tradition. 
since autumn festival and and the uh, Halloween are in the same months and everything everything gets mixed together and then also in the case of Ohio and other states of the Midwest they also have their own autumn festivals but Puerto Rico has a special autumn festival as well they get everything ready for Christmas in addition to getting ready for everything ready for Christmas they also have the roast pork the rice the beans the put the um, the french fries the whipped potatoes everything plus in the state of plus in the city called Rincon they have a surfing contest since they have the biggest surfs when I mean the biggest surfs they have the person on the surfboard and then see who gets the bigger waves and gets in first place and gets trophies and everything and and again another another way to enjoy life and who and who else M much more and much more <laughs> oh yes we have we have we have we already had Santa Lady but he already said yes and everything one minute one minute I am good bunny. We had bad bunny, but now we have good bunny. <laughs> Santa Lady is with Santa Lady is to Christmas what I good bunny is for Easter. <laughs> but instead of going to eggs, we were we distribute we were we distribute lemons, limes, oranges, coconuts, mangoes, papaya, all the tropical drinks. I even mix them all up and enjoy life at the same time. I just have to see you, Sabrina. You're also one of my favorites. And, we, and of course, Santalini has said, Am I, have I been good or have I been bad? Of course I've been good. Good bunny. <laughs> you better be good. Yes. And you've also been great too. I just have to congratulate you on all of your, on all of your success. And, your, and the, way you're, the way you have got a lot of fans and a lot of supporters, your music is excellent, the greatest. Never forget it. You're one of the greatest. Well, I have to get going because I have a lot. To, I have a lot to do. I'm, I'm, I, have to, I have a lot of mangoes, papaya, strawberries to distribute. Of course, the autumn festival has to do with vegetables. I have to do with the, the strawberries, the papaya, and everything. They need the vegetables and they need the fruits. <laughs> okay, good buddy. Okay, good buddy. You, you already, you already had your spiel. Oh yes, Dr. Rob is, we miss Dr. Rob a lot. But Dr. Rob is now into better pastures with the Americana Bistro Grill. And we're enjoying it, we're just enjoying life here. Enjoying it. Much more than one could imagine. And loving every minute of it. So, this is how we have our Halloween and our, uh, and our autumn feast which we mix everything together. Right. All the traditions, all of the music, all of the food, all of the fun, everything that is in, that is in a carnival. Mm -hmm. Not just in different areas of the United States like the Midwest and Florida, but we also added some right. from like Spain, Puerto Rico, Venezuela. Oh, I just remember Dominican Republic also had their version of Halloween too. They do in, in the Halloween and the Autumn Festival. They celebrated not only with all the great foods, but they celebrated with doing the national dance called merengue, which is like a really, really, really fast dance, and everybody's dancing to the fast dance. And then, of course, people are dressing up as Raggedy Ann, Raggedy Andy, and also dressing up as a nurse. Everything else is is it's something very excellent. Everything here is centered around food, around non-alcoholic beverages and just simply having a good time and of course picking up fruits and vegetables and enjoying life and of course we can't have we can't have everything but we can't have the festivals without rock stars and rock singers but we don't we, we, we don't have the we don't have the ones that are really up the ones are the upper echelon. We have the ones that are really, really great talent and can break through. Right. And the uh, concerts. Right now we're having concerts in Cafe 27, which is one of the greatest cafe, which is one of the greatest bar restaurants in Florida. We also have a lot of other parties 
going on in the Florida Keys, and also here at Homestead, Florida City, and some of the restaurants, bars, and in, even in downtown Miami, downtown Miami Beach, more concerts, more music, more of everything. And there was even once a time when Miami Sound Machine under Gloria Stefan appeared in most of these concerts. This is when she was like in the 70s and 80s. And here was just simply the music, the enjoyment, the fun, the whole bit. And I hope one day we could see you here in Florida. Maybe one day it could be oh, one yeah, of those definitely. concerts in the autumn, on the autumn, uh, during the autumn, the whole bit. And much, mu not, and much, not much, not much. Just simply to say that we're glad to have you here. And it's Halloween. Of course, it's Halloween. We're enjoying every bit of it, and enjoying it like you will yeah. never believe. I still, later on, I'm gonna still make my mango shakes, my mango papaya shakes, and just simply enjoy it. Maybe Santalini will hold me, but he's right now with his uh, <laughs> automatic Honda. Even the reindeers are automatic too. If not, maybe maybe I could get Good Bunny to do, give me some of the papaya, the mango to help me do the milkshakes with the water. Yeah. And again, enjoying life. Enjoying like we have never enjoyed it in, in everything. And of course, Halloween, Autumn Festival, the whole bit. I mentioned it because we mix them all, the, we mix them all in one. Right. <laughs> mm -hmm. But yeah, we enjoyed the trick or treat, the witches, the goblins, the Frankenstein, the dunk tanks, the the, the, <laughs> the monsters. We we enjoy and we 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 enjoy life here, and of course the sausages. Don't the, forget Michael Myers, Chucky. <laughs> oh yes, I haven't forgotten him either. But we never forgot him. We also we also have another we also have another version of Chucky too. Very funny, but I'll see if we can get him one day. But we're just enjoying life here. Oh God. And having and just simply explaining the different traditions that we have here in the Hispanic world, but also in the Midwest. Mm -hmm. In the Midwest, one of the favorite songs that was that used to be done in Ohio and also done in Miami during the, during this time was Peter Frampton's "Do You Feel Like I Do." We had one rock star that did "Do You Feel Like I Do" in October and Halloween, and boy did he levitate! We. <laughs> But it was all it was all enjoyment. Mm. And the rest is the rest. And I'm also I'm I also I almost imagine you also had the same thing in Canada as well. And just simply enjoying much more than you could we could imagine. Yeah, and then tomorrow goes right to Christmas. <laughs> No, tomorrow we're getting ready for Thanksgiving and thank getting ready for Christmas because we combine everything in one. But but here, tomorrow is like when people start to shop and go buy the Christmas gifts and then you start putting up. Because this year I told my, my, my parents, let's put the tree up starting in November, not December, and then people start coming over and then we're late, you know, and then it's, it takes too long. We're going to put the tree up a little bit early this year because it takes time to put up the tree. Mm -hmm. Especially when you have a cat around and wants to jump on the tree. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, but last year when I got my cat, he, he did a good job. He did not do anything, but we don't know. It might change. <laughs> so, yeah, but, uh, but I love putting up the, the tree and hanging the decorations on the ornaments and I, I wrap all the gifts in my family. So except except for the ones given to me, I wrap the gifts for people mm -hmm. because they think I can wrap better than them. So I I just love wrapping the gifts. It's fun. Well, you did you did really great wrapping of gifts because when I received your CDs, it was excellently wrapped and everything. What did that congratulate you? <laughs> we also we also celebrate our Christmas a little bit earlier in September. Right now, in the, in the beginning of October, I have all of my Christmas stuff out. 
The only thing I don't have is my uh, snowman. The snowman is called Tito. Oh yeah, the snowman, yeah. I, I, have to, I have to put up the snowman, but everything here is Christmassy. Oh nice. Not yeah, in the back, but up front here and everywhere. We have everything Christmassy and and I, and I already replaced all of the regular programs and regular music with the special Christmas programs and also with all, I also replaced with all the Christmas carols, Christmas music that you could imagine. They're already playing Christmas music in the mall. Yeah, but I have them. <laughs> yeah, but I play my whole collection. I have my whole collection yeah, yeah, here. Yeah. I have my whole collection here in, mm -hmm. in America. But I also have collections of Christmas in Canada, also in Quebec, mm -hmm. Christmas in Spain, Christmas in England, Italy. Every place, nice. I've, every place I've gone to, I've picked up Christmas albums and Christmas ornaments. Nice. And of course, we've also picked up the uh, Christmas in Venezuela, Christmas in the Dominican Republic, Christmas everywhere. And enjoying, we also have all the Christmas albums I could, that I could, I could only imagine and still have that thirst and hunger for more Christmas albums. Yeah, I like Christmas music, but I only listen to it during the Christmas time. No, I'm listening to like I started on November too. Yeah. I did the thing. Uh, it depends. Sometimes I do listen to it a bit like in January, February, because there's still snow on the ground. Like if there's snow on the ground, I can still listen to Christmas music. But once it melts, it's like okay, it's time to put it away for a few months, and then the snow comes back because our winter is longer than our summer mm -hmm. here. So we have more, more cold than the warm weather. So, but we are hearing that this year the the winter is going to be mild. But I'm like, we'll see about that because <laughs> our winters can get pretty wild, mm -hmm. pretty bad. Yeah. Yeah, we have the. I I I used to live up north, so I could. I I know when we had the winters that are really really long, and in Europe there was also very long too. But I also remember that we have Christmas. I, I, I usually start with the Christmas albums and everything mm -hmm. until I start in November. I already did the decorations. Then I started November with everything and then I continue until January 7th. And January 7th we have the uh, what they call the feast days of the kings. Mm -hmm. Christmas, you get the Christmas the children will get the gifts. If, and the other ones would get the gifts on January 7th, the three kings. Oh really? Nice. I, I didn't know about that. Yeah, and there are other. Well, it's another. It's a, it's a Hispanic tradition as well. A tradition of all of Spain, Latin America, even in places like Germany and Italy, that Christmas would last until January seventh, and you would either have gifts for like you could have gifts for like the adults on December twenty fifth, and gifts for the kids January seventh, and then it sort of like it it, cha it exchanges. Also, some people open their gifts on Christmas Eve, not even on Christmas Day. Everybody does it differently, mm -hmm. I, I hear. Yeah. yeah. And then, of course, we have our Christmas dinners as well. The same yeah. Christmas dinners like we have with the feast day, all the ones that we have accumulated in the, uh, the spring and the summer, with the vegetables, the fruits, and everything. We enjoy and we were, and we pick up everything and we and we eat we, we we enjoy with the food the music the family reunions yeah. the whole bit. We normally for holidays we normally have lamb. So my parents make lamb. Like we we have done turkey, but recently that lamb is easier. They they think because turkey can get dry if you, if you overcook it by accident. So. But lamb is good too, but but it takes a long time to, to cook, mm -hmm. and you have to watch it. Yeah, we're gonna have to try lamb one of these days because here we have the turkey, we have the chicken, and of course we always have the different types of meat like churrasco, eh, carne la parrilla, which is uh, meat on the grill. Oh. Yeah, with all the garlic powder, onion powder, the whole bit. Mm, sounds good. And just simply redistributing everything. Of course, we have the chicken soup, the um, lentils, the whole bit. But I'm going to have to try lamb one of these days. 
there were some countries in Latin America, like in Argentina, if I'm not mistaken, and Brazil, that have tried lamb. And I do remember when I was in Venezuela, I used to go to some of these family members from Argentina and Brazil, and they would serve lamb. And the lamb was tasty. If it's made right, yeah. If there's the right sauce on it, because lamb without flavor on top of it won't taste like anything. Oh right? no, we have we have to have the flavor. We always have to have the flavor with the lamb. Everything needs some sauce on it, but my parents do it in just like they put. I I can't explain it because they they do it, but it's like. They do it a different way than certain people make, you know, like when people cook, they, they do things their own way. Somebody else might, might do it their way. So this is the way I've been having the lamb my whole life. But I don't get lamb in restaurants. So I've never had it like in, in a restaurant, but I've, I've only had it homemade. So, yes, yeah, some foods I don't get in restaurants. Yeah, those are the best ones, the best food, especially the ones during Christmas and yeah. Thanksgiving, even Halloween, which is the Autumn Festival, or the Autumn Festival, Halloween, everything intermixed. We have the lambs and we have the lamb. We also have, there are even some areas that have goats and we enjoy yeah, it. Yeah, of course. And, we're, and we enjoy it. We have, you have to have, some, you have to have some sort of spice and sauce because some of that, some of the meat without it is, is dull, very dull. Yeah. And of course, those want to those want to have like a little wine here, a little beer. Fine if they don't overdo it. But I I, I don't drink. But mo I can't. I don't drink, and I can't drink either. And my liver. My like, li I do, but if, if you, I don't drink wine. I am more of a beer drinker or vodka and orange juice kind of girl. I'm not like a. You will never see me holding a wine glass drinking wine. I have never liked it, and I don't think I ever will. Mm -hmm. just, I don't like it. I don't think it, there's any flavor to it. But if you like it, that's fantastic. But I don't know anything about wine. But don't but worry. I, my 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 mom is like a wine. Like she loves wine. <laughs> that, but I, but I am like my dad of beer. Here we go. <laughs> yeah. I... But but still, I can't drink like a whole. Mm -hmm. I, I have to share it because I, I don't like drinking alcohol in the first place. I, I like to taste a Bailey, have a glass of Bailey or something, but I'm not a drinker. So even on occasions, I will not drink. I, I have to be like wanting it. I don't need to drink alcohol. I can live way without it. Like I, I, I don't need it in my house. It's okay. I'm fine. You know, like. But some people need it in their homes, but I don't. Yeah, I can't have any alcohol. Number one, I can't have any alcohol. My liver cannot dissolve the alcohol. So, oh, okay. Since I cannot have alcohol, I have the next best thing. The pina colada without the alcohol, the milkshakes. I'm very heavy into chocolate milkshakes. I'm very heavy into yeah. vanilla milkshakes. I'm also very heavy into smoothies and, and uh, fruit shakes. Yes, you can get those without alcohol and they taste just as good just as good you don't need alcohol in your drink mm. and of course and then you can have more of it because there's no alcohol of course <laughs> i have about like three four five pina coladas i used i used to do some of the serving of the pina colada but i've allowed santalini to take care of all of it and when santalini <laughs> doesn't do it good bunny also does a lot of it they're the bar they're yeah. the bartender they're the bartenders here at our show when they're when they're visiting when they're not visiting I'm I'm the one who does everything and of course we have one big celebration with one big thing we can't forget here in Puerto Rico Venezuela or even Cuba or even the United States like in New York the uh, Midwest and the South coffee the espresso type we even do it in milkshakes as well I'm a big caffeine addict. <laughs> Me too. I love my coffee. Love it. No, I did. I do my, my coffee. I, I let's just say that 
Many people talk about globalization. I did globalization with my coffee long before globalization was even mentioned as a fad. I had coffee from all over the world, Cuba, Venezuela, oh, nice. Italy, Germany, Italy, Austria, I can't have the one from Austria because it's with cinnamon. Well, in Rome. <laughs> and the, the one in Italy, I do, the one in Italy I love. They also had that one, they had their, Italy also had their, Italy also had their Halloween and uh, feast days and autumn festivals all marked with coffee. There was a place in Rome. I have, I have been to Italy and their coffee is wonderful. There is, there, 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 when I was in Italy a long time ago, this was when my first European tour in, in, in the 70s. There was this place called the Coffee Palace. They had all types of coffee with all types of cold, hot, the whole bit from all over the world. They even had coffee milkshakes. Now that I need. <laughs> and I, when they, they either had the iced coffee in which they had the ice and you pour the coffee yeah. and had the blender or you had the yeah. milk, the blender, and the ice and the coffee. Uh, nice. I'm sure I can easily make them myself. <laughs> you can. You can. Yeah. I learned, you know how I learned how to make coffee milkshakes? Santalini taught me. <laughs> one, day we had San, one day we had Santalini doing coffee milkshakes and chocolate milkshakes. And what's, what's the, the recipe? The result, the result was hilarious. <laughs> he had it was all hilarious he took a whole bit of Gavalia bottle he took the bottle of Gavalia then he took the Haggadahs the blender mixed everything in right. then he added right. chocolate milk he let the right. ice cream melt a little bit and then mixed everything mm -hmm. he, almost, he, 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 even, he almost even broke a black and decker he almost broke a black uh, broke a black and decker uh, blender he filled it up and everybody was like, wow! I also had, the, I also had my little high from the coffee. So, so he would mix everything. He called it, what was it? The mocha coffee, um, mocha coffee milkshake. Made with Gavali and chocolate milk. And a haagen vanilla ice cream. Mm, yeah. You should try one day. But he just simply emptied everything. He didn't measure. He just said, just simply took everything and poured it in. Wow. And the, the Gavali was a, was, was, what was it? It was a mocha latte vanilla. That sounds so good right now. And it was really, it was really excellent. You, gotta, you have to try one day or you have to experiment it. To get the right yeah, results. Of I that, this is totally what I like. Right. <laughs> and of course, add a little bit of the background, which we also used in the autumn festivals and Halloween. One of the music that you love as well, Green Day. Oh yes, we have the Eagles. We have Green Day. We have the the music from the Monkees, the whole bit. Monkees, nice. Yeah. And also, right, in fact, I even got one. I even got a nice gift from one of the from the Surviving Monkeys, one of their CDs. Oh yeah. Mickey Dolan nice. sings sings Michael Desmith. I recommend the CD as well. He recorded it. It was a really really great one. It's like going back, wow, a long time ago to these autumn festivals and Halloween festivals with people dressed up, like like I said, witches, goblins, Chucky. Frankenstein, the ghoul, Wolfman Jack, and even even as dukes, princes, pharaohs, the whole bit. <laughs> We're just enjoying life. Yeah. And I said the rest is the rest. And then in two months, 2023. Yeah, two months, twenty twenty three. But then we have to. Then we have to. Oh my God! This year went by like, like a, a, a one page of a book. You know, like just, like so fast. Yeah. Like I can't believe how fast time goes. 
can it slow down a little bit? Like, can I at least enjoy my day? Like, like I swear, I just woke up and now it's night. Like, I don't even know where the time went. Like, honestly, <laughs> like this is nuts. Yeah, believe me, time has also flown by by for me as well. For me, everything seemed like yesterday, and I'm still enjoying it today. 2022 has gone really fast. I do agree with you. There was a time when... 2020, yeah. There was a time... I was alive during the 60s and the 70s. Many people said, if you say you remember the 60s and the 70s, you weren't alive. Of course, you remember. I remember the 60s and the 70s. I remember the monkeys, how they did their concerts. I remember all these great parties that we had in October and November, the whole bit. And I, I, I remember them like yesterday. And now you see how time has flown. And 2022 has been one of those times that it's flown. I can't even believe I'm 60. I, but regardless, I'm just enjoying oh life as God, I'm God. still enjoying life as it is, because you have what well, people have to enjoy life, not take themselves too seriously. How come? Like yes, we have to enjoy life, but my God, can it? Can the days just slow down? Now that it's getting winter then the days are getting shorter mm -hmm. even though it's still it's still early in the day but it's like dark outside and it th this is the time of the year i hate be because it gets dark too early and then it's like oh already you feel tired you feel you know you don't want to do anything because it's dark outside but really it's still early in the day and it's dark outside so it's like, it's, it's, uh, I, I love summer more because there's more light, there's more sunshine, mm -hmm. but I also like snow <laughs> sometimes. I love, I love the first snowfall, I love walking in the snow, but uh, when January hits, it's the worst. I know. In February, it, it's like snow blizzard, and then March is like, Okay, we're just going to slow it down a little bit. And sometimes it goes even until April and then May sometimes. So it, it, we never know when snow will end or when snow will start. But when it starts, it doesn't stop. Yeah. <laughs> I went through the same thing that you did when I was a kid in the 60s. That's why I ended up coming here to Florida during the springtime and the summer. And now I live here. We, we have the same thing like in Canada. We, the, days are, the days are very long in the spring and summer. We have some rain here. The same thing happens in Puerto Rico, Dominican Republic and Venezuela, all the other places I've been to. The winters, the days get to be very short. The nights get very long. Right now, it was about, uh, right now we had the dark come, we had the sun set around 5.30 at night. We have 5.30 at night, and then the sunrise doesn't come until 7 or 8. Yeah, it's so dark outside right now, and, yeah. And now people, very few people go to the beach right now because they think every, the water is very, very violent and everything. It's cold. But yeah. there have been people who have come here and they've come into the water and everything. And then spring and summer, the beaches are really filled up. The same in Puerto Rico, all the beaches are filled up in Puerto Rico. Especially with the surfers. And just simply we're just enjoying life, but I do hear you that this time and this day, I would love to see the day go a little bit slower. There was a time when I said, why can't we make it faster? But now it gets very slow. Well, there are some days that I feel are going slow and some that I do remember some years that I, I felt, my God, this is going so slow. But I, but I guess when you do things and, and you're busy, and, and you're just doing a lot of things, that's how the time goes by fast. But I'm telling you, I didn't do much today. The time just flew by. <laughs> oh my God. The same like here. Today went by really fast. Like I just got up, had some coffee, and then now it's night. I'm like, <laughs> I'm like what? She's like, I, I, I still feel like I, I woke up this morning and I don't even feel tired to go to bed 
Like, like I don't even feel like my, my day has even gone by. But it has, but I don't feel it. It's weird. Yeah. But also, it got darker early today. It got darker, like, around 5. Mm-hmm. It's getting darker now. So. Yeah, we're, we're, yeah, it's, we're going yeah, through the same thing. Yeah. We're going through the same thing. We're going through the same thing, Sabrina. Very dark and everything. And the days are going to go very, go very, very fast. That's why I try to grab every minute. I try to grab every minute and try to enjoy it. The rest, I could let's just say, I'm enjoying it. I'm also, I also wanted to, I also wanted to thank you for you being here in the in this Halloween special. Yeah, thanks for having me on my favorite day of the year. It's Halloween. I love Halloween. <laughs> I, I I just love October. Like a complete horror month for me is October. Even though I, I watch movies all year round. But October is like I do it every day. I watch at least a horror movie once every day, a different movie. Mm-hmm. And yeah, I... I know, October is movie month for me. <laughs> well, October for me is more than just movie month. October for me was like enjoying the, enjoying the, enjoying the foods, enjoying the parties, enjoying life. Because, as, as we, because we, we have Halloween, but we also have the Autumn Festival and we mix everything together. Yeah. And then we have the Thanksgiving and the Christmas. It's just simply for us. An enjoying of life, listening to rock music, or even this traditional Spanish music, and just enjoying life as a life as it is. Going to the restaurants, going to the beaches, going to different areas of Miami, different areas of Fort Lauderdale, even the Florida Keys, and for really really great rock music, but really heavy duty, even metallic, places like Cafe Twenty Seven. And the keys, who can beat the keys? Mm. What horror? We just simply enjoy life and and we just forget every we forget all of our troubles. And disconnect. But I said I said I wanted to thank you for coming to our Halloween party. Mm-hmm. For me it was a pleasure having you here. And uh, Santalini also said hi. Yeah, it was nice seeing him. And also, uh, also, um, bad, bu- uh, also not bad bunny, good bunny also said hi too. <laughs> well, there's a Puerto Rican star called Bad Bunny, and Good Bunny came out of him. So, one minute, oh, just one minute, one minute, one minute. Oh boy, oh boy, oh my mind, oh my mind, just one minute. I think you forgot me. You forgot me. You, you, you remember you remember Santalini and and also you remember Good Bunny, but you don't forget me. But come on, I thought you were doing the American kind of Bistro Bro up in the Midwest and in, in, in the South. No, no, I'm just uh, no, 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 I'm just uh, I'm not here. I'm just I'm just doing I'm just. Uh, hi, I'm Dr. Rob here, host of the American kind of Bistro Grill. Hey, you showed up. Serving you the best in American kind of music and also serving you the best in our cooking shows. Which we also do Halloween and also Autumn Festival cooking shows. I just finished doing a cooking show with the uh, with turkey, hash browns, and some vegetables. Very tasty, and enjo- and and we didn't have to put any sauces or anything. Turned out really excellent. Of course, we emptied the of course we emptied the bottle of garlic and onion powder on the hash browns, the vegetables, and the turkey and the turkey um, grill. Enjoyed every minute. And Sabrina, we just wanted to say we love your music. We love everything from you. You're one of the greatest. And one day we're going to have you again. In the, we're going to have you in the Americana Bistro Grill. Because you're one of the greatest rockers in the world. You are. You're truly one of the greatest, greatest. You're the biggest rock and roll star of the 21st century. An actress as well. Never forget that. Well, I have to be going now also because I have to go back to the Americana Bistro Group. Not just trying to find more artists to interview, but also have to find yeah. more things to cook. <laughs> of course, 
I don't, I don't, I don't have the uh, pizzazz of Good Bunny with his vegetables and fruits, nor do I have the pizzazz of Santalini doing pina coladas and coffee mocha milkshakes. I have to be creative. Let's see what I can do. You take it easy, and the best wishes to you, Sabrina. Thank you. Okay, 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 Dr. Rob, thanks. Thanks, thanks, yeah. Dr. Rob is now proud of his independence. He's no longer the, uh, he's no longer the sleigh or the reindeer for Santalini. Well, Santalini had to do everything automatic, so. But as I said, I just wanted to thank you for coming to our show and for me it was a pleasure and honor. It's always a pleasure and honor having you around here. Thank you for having me. You're one of the greatest rockers. You're one of my favorite rock stars. No. You are. That's why we were that's why my program was that's why my program we we always have you here and you're you're the greatest. Never forget that. This is the Halloween that we have hoped that you would enjoy. Yeah. With all the traditions that we have talked about. It's not just what all other people say about horror. It's just the whole thing of enjoying right. life. And enjoying. And just simply living life as it is. Mm -hmm. I just want to thank you. Before saying goodbye to you, I want to say goodbye to all of my public. To all of you, from here in the AG News Show, peace in, peace out, and peace everywhere. And I want to wish you the best in Halloween and also in the Autumn Festival. Just enjoy and enjoy life to the fullest. Never let anything hurt you or anything. Just simply enjoy life. Enjoy the people around you. Enjoy the animals, the dogs, the cats, the rabbits. The, the chipmunks. The as chipmunks well. as well. Enjoy enjoy all of the life. Enjoy every one of them. And enjoy also enjoy nature. Go to the beach. Go to the forest. Yeah. Enjoy the natural fruits, the natural foods. And just simply be nice to other people, nice to animals, and to nice to, and nice to nature. You'll be well, will be well, well recompensated. Until the next time. Take care.